What's going on everyone? So today we are going to be doing a camera swap on the Mavic 2. Now, when the Mavic 2 first came out and there's, you know, when there's first rumors and that kind of thing about the, the drone, it was highly suspected that the camera was going to be user swappable. Well, it turns out that it's not really user swappable. Um, it sounds like you have to pay for a service, you send the drone in and DJI will swap it and send it back. Now that's kind of a pain in the butt um, and we've already figured out now how to remove the camera, but what happens when you swap the cameras between the two drones? Well, I'm gonna do that and find out. Now, I highly suspect that normally when DJI does it and they swap the cameras, they also flash some sort of a new firmware or update or something onto the drone telling it that, hey, you are now a different drone. So if you have a pro and you're going to the zoom, obviously they flash it and they tell the drone that. Um, it doesn't seem like that's going to be something that users are going to figure out, um, but some of you guys are pretty crazy with, with hacking and um, custom firmwares and everything like that. So maybe we'll see that. Um, but in the meantime, we're just gonna do a quick test and see what happens when you swap the cameras between the two drones. It should go without saying that doing this by yourself is going to void the warranty. Um, and not only that, on the actual drone itself, um, one of the screws that you need to remove in order to take off the camera and the gimbal has a sort of glue uh, or like a little rubber thing in the middle. Um, and so the only way to take that screw out is by removing that. Um, so keep that in mind that if you do attempt this or try to swap a camera yourself, it's highly likely that DJI will know if you ever need to send the drone in for repair. Now that's enough about warnings, of course. We all know that this is probably not something you were supposed to do, um, but let's go ahead and get these swapped and then uh, we'll turn the drone on and see what happens. Oh, and it should probably be mentioned that I don't know, of course, what's gonna happen when I do this, so it's possible that uh, I'm gonna damage one of the drones, um, but go ahead and subscribe to the channel anyway. Um, even if I end up breaking one of the drones, I'll still have the other hopefully. Um, so go ahead and subscribe and comment below if you have any questions for me as well. Oh, and the other thing is I'm gonna be putting the pro camera onto the zoom um, and try that out. I don't think I'm gonna be trying both just in case something does happen to the drone itself. So front little cover is off of the zoom model. Oh, that is scary. So there we go. Um, we have the zoom camera off, so we'll go ahead and place that uh, just on the side here and get this last little screw that uh, fell out. So now let's take the pro camera off. So if you try to uh, unscrew with the little rubber thing in there, uh, it kind of messes it up. Uh, and it's just sort of like a glue, it looks like. Um, so that might be later down the road, you know, someone figures it out. Uh, we can swap that out, of course, without uh, DJI knowing by putting something else in there. cover is off and it does look like the the ribbon cable and the connector here is the same of course we'll find out once i pull it off so now we'll go and pop that ribbon cable off perfect and wow there we go so there is the camera off of the pro now it does look like the ribbon connector and everything is the same. Um, so let's go ahead and move the Mavic uh, off to the side here and install this into the zoom. Ribbon cable is now attached and let's go ahead and start putting these screws back on. Now I'm not gonna put the top cover uh, on because this is just for a test. Um, obviously, if it turns on and works okay, then you know I might put the cup bottom cover on um, and try it out, but I really don't think that, uh, that it's going to work. Oh boy. So now we have placed the pro camera onto the zoom. Um, so now that that is on there, the ribbon cable and the connector is plugged in. Um, let's go ahead and turn this on and then get the controller going here. So turn the controller on. Uh, 
and get DJ uh, 4 going. I'll go and turn on screen record here, of course. On and start recording. Perfect. So once that's going, uh, you'll be able to see here what I'm seeing on the screen. So perfect, the screen is recording. Go ahead and close out of there. We'll go ahead and open up the DJI Go 4 app. And once these two are happy, then we'll turn the drone on and see what happens here. All right, so it's checking the firmware. Be interesting to see what it says about this. Okay, it says its latest version. Now it does show currently the Mavic 2 Pro. However, I was flying last night with the Mavic 2 Pro last. Um, so it might be why it's on there um, because we haven't turned the drone on. So let's go ahead and turn the drone on and hope for the best here. Okay, camera is moving. It's moving around like normal. Turned on. It's checking the firmware info, ignore. Low battery, that's okay. Start, we'll uh, exit out of this quiz. Exit. Still shows the pro on there. And... Overall status. It wasn't happy. Oh my God, the camera is working. The camera is working. It's panning up and down. It's, <laughs> it's working. So here is the zoom camera that we pulled off of the, the Mavic 2 zoom and we put the pro camera on there and it appears to be working. Uh, let's check, uh, well, let me uh, check the settings here. Yeah, it seizes it as the Mavic 2 Pro because now I can come in here and I can change the aperture if I wanted. Holy cow. All right, this calls for a test flight just to really make sure uh, that it's actually working. Um, so let's go ahead and head outside and, and see if this thing will work and record as a pro. Because if that's the case, uh, then this is a user swappable camera. Um, obviously DJI doesn't want you doing that, um, but if you come across the camera or the zoom um, cameras, you could swap it yourself. Obviously it's not real fast, um, not something you'd want to do in the field, but I think it's going to work. Uh, so cool. Let me, um, let me throw a memory card in here and we'll head outside and see if we can fly. Okay, so that is crazy awesome. So now we know that we can swap the cameras ourselves. Um, now I won't necessarily be surprised if DJI gives some sort of a firmware update to make it so you can't do that because it'll have to be sent in to do something in order for the camera to swap, um, like be flashed or something like that. But right now, if you have the other camera, you can swap it on the drone and it'll work. Uh, Freaking awesome. Uh, anyway, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and uh, comment below if you have any questions and uh, we'll see you in the next video.